everyone, it's Shanti for the Real Kids on Sunday. Hope you had a great week, like always. Today I'm going to talk about a film that holds a special place in my heart that is Microcosmos. I remember when this came out. It came out in 1996 and I was 17, freshman at University of Texas in Austin and a zoology major. As some of you know, before I start doing what I'm doing now, I was a zoology major focusing on forensic pathology. And when this came out, we were all really, really excited because as part of zoology, you have to study entomology. And Microcosmos is about insects. It's a documentary, although a lot of people seem to get upset about the term documentary and this film and I think that's because they forget that documentaries document reality. They document life and they don't necessarily have to spell out for you what's going on because in this particular film you have just an intro narration by Jacques Perrin in the original French version and then in the English version it's Kristen Scott Thomas who does the intro and so it's just a couple of minutes there is no dialogue for the rest of the film so people who are looking for something where you're gonna find out why you know the beetles are battling or why the caterpillars are walking this way that's not gonna happen in this this, you just kind of accept it for what it is and enjoy it. If you want a documentary really going into depth about the lives of insects, then like Life in the Undergrowth, David Attenborough did a series on it. It's really, really good. That goes into a lot of depth. But this isn't the film for that. What this is, two zoologists, um, Claude Nordsini and Marie um, Perrineau, Perrineau? don't remember how to pronounce her last name. There are two zoologists who did the cinematography for this film. They also did another film called Genesis in 2004, which is also really good. And they spent two years in southern France, in Aveyron, which is part of the Seven region. Gorgeous. If you ever have a chance to go, you definitely should go. It's wonderful. The people are awesome. I used to live there and work there as a slave at the family's campground, but it's, it's gorgeous. It's really a gorgeous region of the world. And they spent two years filming this. And basically it's just a day in the life of insects. And Bruno Poulet did the soundtrack for it. It's kind of mystical, eerie, creepy, and cool. So turn that off. And this is an amazing collaboration. Um, Jacques Perrin, he did the, um, he basically produced this. He also brought us Winged Migration in 2002, which is another great documentary. Now some people consider this to be like an art film. I don't, it's a documentary. It's documenting things. Anyway, so the cinematography in this is absolutely amazing. It will blow your mind because it's just like macro lens everywhere and you really, really get to know the insects in this. You root for the dung beetle pushing his pile of crap around. You know, you're holding your breath during the battle scene of the stag beetles. You get sucked in with the operatic love scene between snails. It's just, it's a really, oh my gosh, it's just a really wonderful, wonderful film. I highly recommend this, as well as Winged Migration, also Genesis, and Life in the Undergrowth. Definitely check out all of those films if you get a chance, if you really like insects and nature documentaries because these are really really well done cinematography is just awesome some people in this they would argue that there is a lot of anthropomorphology but i don't think so there really isn't a personification of 
the insects in this. You know, a lot of it's just very foreign. Like, some of it, yeah, you can kind of relate to it. Like, when you see the crickets and the spiders. And the crickets, there's a scene where the crickets are almost playing, like, a game of jumping onto a spider's web and then coming off. And, you know, you, you see a lot of, like, teenagers doing just stupid stuff like that. And will they get killed? Will they not? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You know, just things like that. But otherwise, you know, it's just, it's very, very alien. And you do get taken in. There's comedy in this, there's drama, there's flooding and drought. It's just, I think it's a captivating film. So if you love nature films, love nature documentaries, check this out. If you're looking for something that is action-packed and really deeply educational, this, this isn't the movie. It's just something that's soothing to watch. The soundtrack is awesome. In fact, um, I think the soundtrack actually like won a César Award. This won five César Awards in France which is sort of like the equivalent of you know, Academy Awards. And you have know, cinematography, I believe score, also editing, sound. And because the soundtrack in this, it's, it's really kind of funky, the soundtrack, because you have the music also mixed in with the sounds of nature. So it's just, it's amazing. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's something that you really have to see. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Check out this movie as well as Winged Migration, Genesis, Life in the Undergrowth for other great documentaries on insects and winged migrations, birds, Genesis, where have we come over the years, and I hope you enjoy them. Oh, also incidentally, for those of you wondering about the meadow where this is, some of you may recognize that name because that's where Victor of Aviron came from, who was the wild child in the late 1700s, early 1800s. If any of you want to read more into that, it's very interesting. So go check that out online somewhere. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.